Another day, another story. Dear subscribers, please feel free to leave a comment below letting us know which book summary you would like to see next. Disclaimer. The book summary provided is based on my interpretation and understanding of the book. The views and opinions expressed in the video are solely my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the author, publisher, or any affiliated parties. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only, and should not be considered as a substitute for reading the actual book. Author Introduction Joanna Cole, born in 1944, was a prolific American writer of children's books, best known for her popular series, The Magic School Bus. She received numerous awards for her work, including the National Science Teachers Association's Lifetime Achievement Award. Cole had a passion for science and education, and her books were beloved by children and adults alike. Her legacy continues to inspire young readers to this day. Today's quotes, if you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. Summary. The Magic School Bus on the Ocean Floor is an exciting and educational adventure that takes readers on a thrilling journey through the depths of the ocean. The book, written by Joanna Cole and illustrated by Bruce Degen, is part of the popular Magic School Bus series and was first published in 1992. The story begins with Miss Frizzle's class taking a field trip to the beach, where they learn about the various creatures that inhabit the shoreline. As they explore the beach, Arnold discovers a collection of rocks and decides to take them back to school as a project. However, as he is walking back to the bus, he slips and falls, and his rocks fall into the ocean. Miss Frizzle, never one to waste a teachable moment, decides to turn the accident into a learning experience and takes the class on an underwater expedition to retrieve the lost treasures. As the class sets out on their adventure, they climb aboard the magic school bus, which transforms into a submarine, and dive into the ocean. They begin their journey in the sunlit zone, where they encounter a variety of marine life, including colorful fish and playful dolphins. Ms. Frizzle uses this opportunity to teach the class about the food chain and the importance of each species in the ecosystem. As they venture deeper into the ocean, they enter the twilight zone, where the sunlight begins to fade, and the water becomes darker. Here, they encounter strange and unusual creatures, such as the anglerfish and the viperfish, which have unique adaptations to survive in the darkness. They also learn about bioluminescence, the ability of some creatures to produce light, which helps them attract prey or communicate with others. The class then descends into the midnight zone, the deepest part of the ocean, where they encounter an array of fascinating organisms that have adapted to the extreme pressure and darkness. They visit a hydrothermal vent, where they learn about chemosynthesis, the process by which some organisms use chemicals instead of sunlight to produce energy. However, their adventure is not without its challenges. They must navigate through a maze-like underwater cave, avoid dangerous predators, and deal with a malfunctioning submarine. But with Ms. Frizzle's innovative teaching methods and the class's teamwork and resourcefulness, they are able to overcome these obstacles and continue their quest for the lost rocks. As the class approaches the end of their journey, they encounter a massive sperm whale that mistakes the magic school bus for a giant squid and tries to attack it. But Miss Frizzle uses her knowledge of the whale's behavior to outsmart it and avoid danger. The class then finally reaches the location where Arnold's rocks fell, and with the help of a robotic arm, they successfully retrieve the lost treasures. In the end, the class returns to the surface, where they reflect on their adventure and what they learned about the ocean and its inhabitants. They come away with a newfound appreciation for the beauty and complexity of the underwater world and a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of life on Earth. Overall, The Magic School Bus on the Ocean Floor is a captivating and educational book that blends science education with adventure and humor. It teaches readers about the wonders of the ocean and the importance of environmental conservation, all while entertaining them with a thrilling story and stunning illustrations. It is an excellent resource for teachers and parents who want to inspire a love of science and the natural world in their children. Moral. Always be curious and never stop exploring, and there's always something new to discover even in the most unexpected places. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my latest content and be part of a community that shares your interests. Thanks for watching.